How's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. Now you'll notice when you play Grand Theft Auto that there are these various events that you can do throughout the game. Now you can see I'm just driving along here. I think I was on my way to another mission or was going to try something new. And in a minute, you're going to see this little blip pop up on my screen. And it says something along the lines of like various events can be done to, you know, help your, you know, stature in the community or they could be very profitable. Now some of these events are just like stopping a lady who's having her purse robbed. But as you can see right now, I see this little blip and I see a money truck, one from Grand Theft Auto 4. It's like the Group 6. And I said, hey, I know what happens when you blow one of those up. So I decided to get in front of it and see what I do. Now, I went up to this truck and I said, I wonder if I can just hijack this. And uh, it looks like that wasn't the case. So my objective now was to blow off the back of the doors or destroy the security truck and I would be able to get what's inside. Only problem was, is those doors were locked. So I was able to kill one guy, but the door was still unlocked. I thought for whatever reason, if I would shoot him, the door would just magically become unlocked. So my objective became to ram the back of the truck until one of the guys jumped out, which was the case, and I was able to shoot him and now take the truck. So now my objective was to avoid and get rid of these cops and then somehow blow one of these trucks up. If you didn't realize already, destroying cars in Grand Theft Auto 5 or lighting them on fire is much tougher than it was in Grand Theft Auto 4. So it does take a bit of ammunition or, in this case, destroying the back door and uh, trying to get all the goods out. So it said destroy the back two doors and I tried that for a while. As you can see, I'm backing it up into a light post over and over again. I feel like Patrick Starr just banging my head on a table like, why isn't this working? And then I eventually get a little notice that says focus on the target and it's looks like it's the back of my truck. And so I decide to get out and see what this is all about. And I there was no like open feature and there was no like say hey grab your money feature. So what I really ended up doing was really just taking it into this little ravine off to the right. And from there, I just lit the truck on fire, which you'll see me do in a second. So uh, this actually didn't take that long. It only took me about, I, I guess I would say, like five or ten minutes to avoid the cops and, uh, you know, finish off using 100 rounds of pistol ammunition to light this truck on fire. But the result is surprisingly nice. I get a large chunk of cash. And unlike Grand Theft Auto 4, it's not a whole bunch of dollar money bills that spread everywhere. It is just one suitcase that falls out the back. And uh, it is quite a nice chunk of change, especially if you're just starting the game and you want to do something like upgrade your car or do something like get new clothes or get a haircut, etc. So 7,668 bucks in about five minutes. Most missions don't even offer a tenth of that. So this was a nice chunk of pocket change and it was really cool. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I would encourage you guys to definitely leave a like favorite and subscribe to my channel for more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Like I said, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.